Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Mardu Control. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Here at It Resolves, we love to play a new deck every day, have some fun with said deck, and hopefully learn a little something along the way. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it really helps us out. We would certainly appreciate it. Guys, let's talk about today's deck. This was originally played, uh, not this exact deck, but a very similar version of this deck was played in a Japanese tournament, I believe. Uh, and so the original list was taken from MTG Top 8. I have altered it slightly, uh, and I think for good reason, and we'll talk about that as we go through. Um, but the idea is pretty straightforward. It's got a lot of removal uh, in the way of cut down, go for the throat, right of oblivion, along with a couple sweepers. We do have some depopulates. This is one of the changes I made was to actually add in depopulate because it did not have a sweeper opportunity. And I've found at least in best of one that that really is a game changer. If you can hit that depopulate on turn four, ooh, you are a lot of times in a really good shape. Uh, and then hopefully play some really solid long-term threats in terms of we've got Planeswalkers, the Wandering Emperor, Soren, uh, we have Shieldred as well, and then of course one of my all-time favorite cards, Archangel of Wrath. I think this card is just so good. Uh, it just does so much. It's so fun. Uh, and then of course Wedding Announcement, which over time will accrue a little bit of value for us, lord up our board, and then hopefully we can kind of get in there for some big swings. We do also have Reckoner Bankbuster, so this is hopefully going to draw us some card and also provide us with a way of you know attacking in uh suiting up a creature getting in there for some damage uh and then of course fable of the mirror breaker which again gives us a little bit of value over time right we get to throw out a little 2-2 hopefully create some treasure tokens that'll ramp us into some big stuff or that we can use those treasure tokens for the right of oblivion if need be uh, and then draw further into the deck and then start creating some copies of stuff, get those attacks in, and then maybe use those permanents for the Rite of Oblivion. That is always a possibility. Uh, so there's a lot to this one. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go. In practice, I haven't actually managed to win. Uh, to be honest, I've played, I think, three games, only one with the depopulate change, as well as just a couple land shifts and things like that. Uh, and I've still not gotten a win. Uh, to be honest, but I still think this deck does have something to it. Uh, and I might be wrong on that, and if we lose every single game, we lose every single game. But you know what? We're gonna have a good time because it's the weekend. We just need to relax and chill. Uh, I know there's been some big talk this week. We'll talk about that as we go through, but I'm really excited to try this one out and hopefully get somewhere. At the very least, maybe learn what cards we need to uh, uh, adopt into this deck to actually tech it out and hopefully get further. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump right in. Let's see how we do. All right, everybody, and here we are for game number one. I uh, I don't love this hand, I'll be honest, but I am going to keep it, uh, mostly for the sake of we get to draw a lot of extra cards with the Reckoner Bankbusters here, uh, and of course we do have a Soren to actually get to, and there's a Depopulate too, so I do feel fairly strongly about that. Uh, hopefully we can draw a little bit further into the deck and get somewhere. Uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. <laughs> Uh, and by that, I do mean um, I'm addressing specifically the uh, Hasbro fireside chat issue that came out uh, just, I think it was Thursday. I did a video on it yesterday just with my initial thoughts. Tried my best to remain as positive as I could because I do feel like that's pretty important. Um, and it was interesting. Um, I, I will kind of reserve my thoughts because I think I, I do the best I can to kind of address them in that video. Uh, so I encourage you guys, please go check that out. Uh, I do think it's worth it to, uh, to just see what was said, my opinions on what was said, those kinds of things. Um, I do want to stress those are my opinions. Uh, they don't have to agree with yours. And in fact, if they don't, please let me know. Do it respectfully. Uh, because I think that's like really important for us to do uh, is to respectfully challenge each other and hopefully make it, you know, or uh, get further in the conversation, I will say. Uh, and so that's it. That's all we really need to do. Um, it was very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but I do think, um, you know, we'll... That was interesting. Uh, we'll see how things kind of pan out. I don't have super high hopes that we're going to see any major changes anytime soon. Uh, I just don't think that's how this is going to play out. Uh, if it does, great. Uh, my opinion is things very much need to change, but I don't think we're going to get there. 
uh, at least not right now. And so I don't think that's overly surprising to a lot of people, but uh, I was not happy with the way that went. Uh, I do think, I think it's important to recognize that that was not for players. I think the context of that conversation was very not focused on players and it wasn't supposed to be. Um, so I do think that's pretty important to recognize, but at the same time, I still don't think it was a good conversation for us to really gain anything from, uh, and that kind of felt bad, uh, to be honest. So just my opinion, of course, but that's just kind of where I landed. So I'm just going to go ahead and depopulate again, get those two things off the field. I'm really not interested in dealing with either of them. They do draw a card, of course, but it is what it is. Uh, we get a couple things off the battlefield here. They do have a lot of blood tokens to cycle if they'd like. I'm also not uh, popping the blood token, at least not now. I don't really feel the need to at the moment. Um, and the only card I'd be kind of into discarding, I think, is the Reckoner Bank Buster. And I'm not so sure I actually want to get rid of that quite yet, to be honest. Uh, sure. Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, so they are, they've got one mana available, basically. Um, I'm gonna throw the shield right out. I don't see a huge reason not to. And I'm gonna do this. I, I think I wanna leave up the Aganjo at some point here. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of room for that to uh, potentially be very beneficial, so we'll see. Uh, sure. Fair enough. You got me. Uh, they keep taking two for that though, which does feel nice. I'm curious to see if they actually cycle any cards away. Um, they did not. That's a pretty big tell, not gonna lie, that's a little scary. Uh, okay. Maybe it is worth it then. Let's go ahead and get rid of the bank buster now. Honestly, another depopulate, we have three. Always a good option. Go for the throat, it's pretty good. It's gonna help us get rid of something here, so I will take it. Um, a land is never bad. I will take that as well. Let's go ahead and drop Soren. I think we're just gonna throw a token out there, right? Um, they probably have some removal, which I think is okay. Um, but I think I'd, I'd like to force them into it, right? Uh, and I'm surprised if they had it, I feel like maybe they would have used it. So maybe they just don't have removal. It might be that they have like a shield or though or something, right? So it could be any number of things. Okay. Really? Um, I'm going to go for the Ganjo play first. Uh, to just go ahead and kill this. Ah, they're gonna counter. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad we did this before blocks, because now we know, at the very least. Uh, do we want to kill anything? I think we have to block here. I think we need the Soren around to be able to draw further into the deck, right? Um, I, I just think that's pretty important for us. They may just have a kill spell for the Soren, but it looks like not. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and plus up. Give me something. I mean, I'll reveal it, right? Might as well. Um, not great. We're kind of burning out here, right? Like, we needed to depopulate to be able to kind of sweep everything, I think. Uh, and we just didn't get there. So, that sucks. But it is what it is. I mean, that's not, you know, it's fine. Uh, we may yet live just through go for the throats. <laughs> Um, I'm curious, I was gonna say, I'm actually kind of curious to see if they even attack Soren. I don't know that I would, um, to be honest. I feel like you could just kind of let it be. Um, let's kill you. Let's do this first, because if they do have another Urtai or something, okay. So then while that is on the stack, let's do that, that way they can't Urtai. Well, I guess, yeah, they have the mana to do it. So this just means, so if we let that bounce and then play the go for the throat, it just means they could have urtied that go for the throat, uh, which would have also been quite bad. Um, so this does nothing. They really shouldn't have done that because now we just get to draw a card. Uh, it didn't have a target. So that was like a, it was a bit of a useless move uh, to be honest, but I'll take it because, oh man. Come on, depopulate. Well, even depopulate isn't good, is it? Uh, because we just lose. <laughs> um, let's cycle. Let's see. That's not gonna do it. 
Um, yep, yeah, I'm in a good game I'm here, guys. Unfortunately, just not getting there. We drew a lot of lands that game. We do have a fairly high land count, but again, keep in mind, this is a control list, and we have a lot of four drops in the list uh, that we're trying to play multiples of per turn. So I don't think that's unreasonable, and there are a handful of cycling lands, but unfortunately, didn't get there. So let's jump into game two. What's up guys, just a quick break from the video to remind you that through the end of December we will have our new proxy pack available via our Patreon rewards and select tiers. In celebration of Phyrexia All Will Be One coming early next year, we have the amazing Original Praetors as our Patreon rewards this month. Now, those include my all-time favorite card Elish Norn with Jenga Taxis, Shieldred, and Vorinclex. Again, if you're interested in picking these up, guys, we really would appreciate the support, and it's a great way to pick up these awesome proxies every single month. You can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. Without further ado, though, let's jump right back into the video. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, we keep this. It's a little sketchy on the land front, but again, we've got a pretty high land count, and theoretically, we can get there. And yeah, look at that. We did it. Um, again, pain land's not ideal, but in a three color form or a three color deck like this, I think you do expect to run a handful of them. And with Shieldred available, there are a lot of opportunities to just draw more uh, and, or, or excuse me, gain life back, not draw more. Um, guess we just go here. I'm just gonna throw out the Blood Tithe Harvester. If they have a uh, uh, cut down. That'd be perfectly good, but it looks like they don't. I think I think they would have used it. That's really maximizing it. Okay, Sacred Fire, sure. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and Wedding Announcement. I'd like to go ahead and start gain, gaining some of that long-term value. And eventually, of course, flipping it, which will be lovely. Silex, huh? Interesting. Uh, destroy each non-land permanent. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's attack. And I think we bank buster because we can replace it in our hand, right? Uh, so I think the move is to potentially, if they pop the Silex, in response we bank buster. Yep, they're gonna do it. Uh, so this replaces itself in the hand, which is phenomenal, and we lose a little bit less at the very least. Um, it's not necessarily great, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, I, they haven't played a land, um, hmm, okay, there's the land, uh, yeah, not gonna do anything about that, obviously, um, I am gonna not auto-pass, I suppose, because we could, if they play any creature, we just go for the throat it. Is that one worth go for the throating? Yeah, I think so, I'm assuming, whoops, oh, it's not an artifact, duh, of course. We can't go for the throw deck, guys. That was a mistake, um, but that's fine. I'm worried that they will have a Rite of Oblivion. I think that's the biggest worry. Uh, let's... I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if this is the right call, guys. I'll be honest, I have no clue. We're obviously not gonna attack. We're just gonna get another creature. Um, they take two, which isn't a lot, but it's a start. We need to start chipping away at them. They have to be trying to do something big if they're playing all these stalwart or stally cards, you know? Um, at least that's my assumption. Um, so could they could block with both. Uh, I don't think that's overly helpful unless they also have like a play with fire, which is fine. Um, so yeah, if they want to double block, that's cool. Awesome. We need to get stuff off the field, so, you know, I'll take it. Um, they also lose a life for all of that. I think we take the opportunity to play Soren and draw. Actually. Because um, we can take the three here, but then we just gain two back. Or no, yeah, we'll gain two back next time. But yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. We'll see. It's not a draw, it's a put it into your hand uh, on the on the Soren Plus. Uh, but basically, this is like kind of forcing them into a position of you have to deal with the Soren. And generally, you know, if they don't have another Silex or like a Soul Transfer or something along those lines, which they can't even play a Soul Transfer, um, they're going to run into an issue, right? Because eventually this Planeswalker is going to keep ticking up and like... 
it will go off eventually if you can't deal with it. Uh, and while they're setting up for whatever their big play is, which truthfully I don't know, it might just be like a brilliant restoration or something silly like that, which makes sense. Um, you know, it's it might get a little hairy for them. One option for this deck uh, that I did not mention and I think would be a good addition is Farewell. Uh, we have enough lands in the deck to already support that. I don't think that's a problem. But I do think it's pretty important for us to realize, like, hey, exiling a graveyard is a pretty beneficial thing. <laughs> um, and so that is something to consider. Um, I, Like I said, didn't add it uh, for a variety of reasons, but mostly just because um, I was trying to keep the mana cost low. Uh, maybe that was wrong. Might have been. Have no idea. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there, too. I don't know what the right call is, to be honest here, guys, because I'm not 100% sure what they're going to do. Do they... They just exiled everything? That's fine. So it's not a restoration deck. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Uh, okay. I don't know why they good gamed there. That wasn't a good game moment. Uh, let's go into full control. I'm curious actually how this works. Uh, because the Archangel is no longer on the battlefield to deal its damage, but okay, it does go through. Sure. Oops. Um, okay. I think I just pass. Uh, I want to hold on to this because I can cycle it, right? This land, this basic land, I will cycle away, though. <clears throat> cool. Our own Angel of Wrath. Um, not 100% sure we play it yet. I think we wait. This may sound weird, but if they have another Archangel, I'd like to kill theirs before they get to kill ours. So that seems a little better. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle this. Depopulate would be helpful. They would kill, well, hit us for three, not kill us, but it's not really the end of the world. Um, yeah, I don't think we actually, I think we just get to Archangel for a couple of these guys, right? Seems good enough. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Seems pretty reasonable. I mean, it's not like amazing, but it's something and we get to gain four life back. So, you know, I'll take it. They can deal a damage. So I guess we gain two life back because unless, wow, maybe they have a play with fire. They might. That's a little scary. Do they have it? Uh, they have sacred fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, sure. Okay, so maybe we should have only hit them with like one of those. Ah, oh, they do have their own Archangel. Can't play that yet, but I think that obviously kind of has to be the move. Oh, that's a better move. Let's just depopulate. It's an easy enough play. Um, and it leaves them with one card in hand and us with one card in hand. They do have a Sacred Fire, but that's it. Uh, and looks like a land. We have another depopulate, so we just pass. Not a whole lot we can do. Uh, we may only get two games in here, guys, because this one is going a bit longer, but we'll see. If we finish it up really quickly, uh, which I don't think is going to happen, but very easily could, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and move on. Sure. So they can't even really do anything with this yet, so I'm not that worried about it. I'll play a land and pass. I'm not overly concerned by an ambitious farm hand that they can't flip right now. Um, I'll take a one. You got it. Ping it. Uh, yeah. We do have to be careful. This can deal damage to any target, so just something to consider. Uh, but this is like, this is what I mean, like, we don't need to burn a removal spell on a 1-1 one -one when we can just theoretically outclass it with a 2-2. Two -two. Um, we've got plenty of opportunities to get those, so not overly concerned. Now, if they remove this, maybe we play a different a different route here, but like, really not that concerned. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'd rather go for the throat something like an Archangel, something big. Because um, I just don't know. Like, we can just finish this off later. They no longer have the Sacred Fire in the graveyard, which is helpful. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and this is why we wait. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely a higher priority. We could have just depopulated, I guess. Because uh, this is going to hit regardless. Maybe that would have been better. Oh, well, that's just helpful. I think I'd submit zero. I think I'd just keep removing everything. I'm a little worried if they get a fourth Archangel, right? That's the only downside, but I think I go ahead and remove this now because then we are in Archangel death territory, um, and I'm not really into that idea. All right, we're doing the best we can. Uh, and I don't think we're playing badly. I don't think we're getting the cards we need. Right now, we just need a threat. Really. Which I guess reflection eventually will kill them. <laughs> It'll take 15 turns, but theoretically we can do it. Now that is something. Uh, I am just going to attack first. Let's drop the shield rid. They didn't remove the reflection, which makes me think they might not have a removal spell, but they're also not under a whole lot of pressure to remove it. So they don't really have to. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, worth noting, I'm actually going to hold the lands. We're going to sandbag a little bit uh, in case we get like a blood token that we can pop off. Worth noting, them removing our graveyard is a problem. We do have gra graveyard trespasser in our deck. Uh, and that's certainly something that we would want to throw at them. So um, I'll play the ridge just because it's a non-pain land. I think at this point we can cycle the pain lands. Uh, I'm also mind gaming them just ever so slightly. <laughs> They're just gonna get us to one. Man, if they just, they have burns, so they are definitely on the advantage side of this. Um, okay. I think, I think we just draw a card, potentially. Uh, we're obviously gonna decline, because can't really do that. Uh, they're most likely just gonna Karn Silex to get rid of Soren which is great. I'd love them to do that so we can actually uh, use the graveyard or get a creature down. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna cut you down real quick. Give me a card in the graveyard. That's all I need. I need to gain some life. And that actually really helped. <laughs> sure. Graveyard Trespasser. We're gonna gain a life, which is helpful. Uh, not really that helpful, but it is helpful. Like, we're not, we're not dead to one damage. Benefits of having a graveyard trespasser in your deck. Um, yeah, we are, oh my gosh, you just have every farewell into, what in the world? Oh man, seriously? That was so anticlimactic. That was terrible. Uh, it is what it is, guys. We are running up on time, so I am going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Let's go ahead and talk about this deck. All right, so only two games and unfortunately no wins. Uh, we did, like I said, play a couple practice games prior to just to kind of get a handle on the deck and actually tech it a little bit. Um, I do think the depopulates obviously helped. Um, so I do think we're heading in the right direction. Do I think this is there yet? Probably not. I think we've got some room to grow. Uh, I'm curious though, because I wonder what the best options are. I don't know 100%. I'm wondering if we should get rid of the Soren, perhaps? Um, I, I don't know. I really like Soren because it does a lot of what you need, right? It spits out a token that's evasive and can gain life. Uh, and it draws you cards, which is kind of everything you want in like a control style list. Uh, so to me, that feels like a good include. I don't know. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I I like the shell of the deck, right? I love Archangel. Obviously, the Wandering Emperor is pretty much always going to be good. I think the depopulates at a really nice just board sweeper opportunity. There's plenty of removal uh, and there is card draw and life gain. So I think it has all of the elements. I think it just didn't really come together for us, uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I missed. Let me know in the comments section below so we can hopefully work on this list together, maybe revisit it later on. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know there's a lot going on in the magic community right now. Uh, this is the last thing I'll say. Um, but I know there's a lot going on right now. I just encourage everybody that if you enjoy the game, 
just do your best to enjoy the game. That's all it is at the end of the day. Uh, and, you know, not every magic product is necessarily made with you in mind. I 100% agree. And if you don't want to support that, totally get that as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, It Resolves is going to look at this like a game because that's what it is. And we're just going to have a blast with it. Uh, and hopefully you guys can be along for that. Uh, if not, we appreciate your support either way. So thank you guys very much. I love you all. Have a fantastic Saturday. I'll see you guys again very soon.